Now, more than two weeks after that fiery train crash released the dangerous chemicals into the air and the river, FEMA is sending help to residents in that town. The Biden administration putting pressure on the train company to make things right, and the CEO is vowing to do so. ABC's Rena Roy has more on that promise. Volunteers on the ground in East Palestine, Ohio, traveling from across the state, handing out bottled water to affected residents too afraid to drink from the tap. Shelby Walker lives just feet from the tracks where the fiery train crash happened more than two weeks ago, spewing hazardous chemicals into the air and into the Ohio River. I will never be comfortable in my home. She says Not she, her daughter and grandchildren have been suffering from eye infections, sore throats and headaches. In an open letter, Norfolk Southern, the train company, at the center of the investigation, saying the company, quote, implemented a comprehensive testing program to ensure the safety of East Palestine's water, air, and soil. Officials have reassured residents that the water is safe to drink. John and Dana Linger live in the neighboring town of Negley, and they're worried about being outside at all. We're avid hikers. We kayak. We, we're not going to be able to do any of that for Lord knows how long. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg putting the pressure on Norfolk Southern, saying in a letter, you have previously indicated to me that you are committed to meeting your responsibilities to this community, but it's clear that area residents are not satisfied with the information, presence and support they're getting from Norfolk Southern in the aftermath and recovery. Here's Over the weekend, the, the CEO community. making his and, second um, visit, so vowing to do right, right by residents. residents. The train company establishing a $1 million community support fund to help rebuild. State and federal health officials hosting an open health assessment clinic Tuesday to answer medical questions for people in the community. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.